Now you guys are probably wondering what the heck happened to this trailer. It was loaded with 45,000 pounds of oranges. And it is reduced to this. What caused this? Well, a rollover, obviously. And in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we did the job. I wasn't personally on it, but my dad and Alex kicked major butt on this recovery. Been here almost two weeks now. Just goes to show you a lot of these rollovers aren't just fast cash, easy money. You gotta deal with the logistics of storing stuff like this. We have the tractor as well. I'll show you right now. A lot of these guys um, either have horrible insurance or no, none at all. Situation like that. You gotta just hope that they have assets and if they don't, well then you're screwed. You gotta do the lien process. But I think, uh, cause this one had food, should be covered. It's just a waiting game of waiting for insurance and all them to okay it. At least the reefer looks good. Anyone need a reefer unit? <laughs> and at least this wall is good. It's just the passenger side. And that's the tractor back there in front of this U-Haul. Not too bad. Let's see if I can walk up there. And not too bad. I've def definitely seen worse. Major scratch, tore off the fairing. Probably a lot of tire damage. And here's all the stuff for the, the trailer. Fun stuff, this should be a fun video guys. Enjoy. Well guys, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good rollover. Oranges, lots of oranges. Let me look at the front. Sure. Yeah, I have some. Hello oh, gentlemen, so we're at uh, westbound 10, going to the southbound 5, and we have an overturned big rig, full of oranges. Obviously it's a 53 foot reefer, uh, obviously it was, I had to go pretty fast, rolled it. So, I had to assess the damage before, it looks like the top pretty much came off destroyed half of the reefer against the guardrail so we might have to offload possibly we might not half the loads out already we'll see if we could uh, strap it from the front and bring as much of it over as we can Any more sand big? I don't think so. No. It's a very part of the <laughs> No. <laughs> We're gonna remove the drive line though. Okay. Thank you, sir. What a way to finish a weekend, huh? Bro. I know. And Josh missed them all. <laughs> right? I can call my son? No. I'm not gonna bug him. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're good. It looks like you emptied it out. <laughs> okay, nothing on this pouch. Watch yourself. So far, Sarge. Sergeant. Oh, thank so you. Far, awesome. I don't know that. 
No driver? No, he left. Oh, he booked it? No, is it? This thing may be hot. There, there's no sign of a driver. There's no there's no water. There's no wallet. The, the truck is empty, sir. It doesn't, this never happens. Right. It doesn't make any sense. To Nothing make sense. makes sense. Yeah. There's no sign of a driver was in here. Phone, cell phone charger, wallet, leftover food. They always have some food. Right. Little stuffed animals. <laughs> Let's start taking up the drive line, please. Yeah. That's funny. So apparently the driver took off. That is funny. come prepared to carry these two and two more on top I've never seen that spot used where oh <laughs> yeah, Alex, you know what I was thinking too maybe but I don't want to I don't want to tear up that load yeah we won't tear that I'll Christmas wrap it out of this one. Let's just go with the original pan. We'll low sheave it with your end. Yeah, I'll put okay. here and we'll put caster in the front. We'll make it look Sh nice. Should I turn around? No, you'll be fine. Just go off the side. Low sheave it you off the what? side. You know what? I could low sheave off the outrigger, no? No, I won't, have, I won't have that much room. No. Let me park way back here. Yeah, but you park first and then I'll park yeah, in here. Do you have anything to wash my hands with, though? Not that stupid. What? <laughs> you already know what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I know the most. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a good idea. Yeah. Because there's nothing I can do with the roof. There's no, there's nothing. No. In Whatever falls out, falls out. We're good. <sighs> I, not working out. I have water. You want water? I just um, boom over and start lifting up the whatever I can on the on the trailer so I could uh, put some cribbing so I could have some space under it to run my my rigging like my uh, my wide straps. I keep in mind that these reefers have really really thin walls, so you got to be really careful. Hello, sir. Hey, uh, this is only uh, two vehicles, right? There's no third one. No, so it's just a tractor with a trailer. Okay, that's yeah. what I thought. I just want to make sure. So this officer was asking for 180s is uh, essentially our uh, our storage authority or CHP. You know, we don't get in trouble. So one 180 would be for the tractor and the second 180 would be for the, the trailer. It looks like a fairly new cop, so <clears throat> just like everything we uh, we learn and get experience to get better. A big flipper over here, 75 tons. We got a whole 50 tons. Josh is uh, missing out today. You don't want to catch it? Okay, if you want it we should. Control. We should just. Okay. We should use your boom okay, to stop control. Okay. Cool. The load says forty thousand pounds, but most of it came out. The part that Joe's doing it's uh, fairly empty. So all the way would be on flipper, but. It'll handle it no problem. Loves these things. We're pretty much into the new age now where we use uh, nothing but slings and which in some instances are rated more than these chains. But when it comes into regs and any type of jagged edges, we use chain but Joe likes to use it. These chains for everything. 
we always make fun of them. We'll be like, oh, give me a container chain. You know? But it's always nice to have Joe because of the experience that he brings. 42 years of experience for Big Joe. Amazing how the foundry hooks. That's regular hook on the other end. These cradle hooks, perfect for the chain to cradle it and give it a 100% of the working low limit on the chain. So it should be fine. Half inch chain, <clears throat> working low limit vertical would be 15,000 pounds. So it'll be more than enough. What's up, gente? Yeah? Chente decided to uh, join the party. It's kind of... Funny story, apparently the driver bailed out. So who knows what the backstory on this, this tractor is. This guy was flying, rolled it, and took off. That's funny. Some of these plastic parts they break and they fall over. Shut up this chain. Strap this down when Castro comes here. I'll put my bumper pins and do one of those uh, equalizing uh, slings over here. All right, let's just start lifting. Have, yeah, I have straps. I know. Oh, I know. But I'm gonna put the wood just to for precaution.
Perfect, huh? All right. Put it. Stretch it. It's over the wood, right? Pull it big. Pull it. Go ahead, pull it more. Right there. It's good. What do you think? Yeah, that's good right there. See, it's ripping. Look, look at it there. Yeah. But at least right here, we ripped from here. We got most of it. You think we can get an angle iron in there? Let me get an angle iron. Well, it's just my first up there. I will. Oh, you got it? Okay. Now, in order to anchor this, uh, this strap, I'm gonna run it through here. right there next I put my angle iron the angle iron essentially what it does is it protects it from the edges and since it's a bigger piece the bigger the piece it provides more of a more surface area to be able to uh, bring it over and uh, lessen the likelihood of it tearing like I said it's already compromised so I know I am gonna have the trailer tear but in order to help out cow, cow trans a little bit we're gonna uh try to upright it with uh, as much product as possible they got a loader and stuff so they'll be able to uh pick up most of it fairly quick a lot of oranges so lots of uh, orange juice White strap shackles. Caster's gonna come in a bit. So uh, after I run my straps, I'll uh, set up his bumper pins to uh, expedite the process, get this open. Get it all cleared up before the the morning because uh who wants to be uh you know late to work <laughs> for the morning rush cool all right that one's set it's always nice to crib in case if something does fall you know it kind of holds it but let's run our second strap now I'm gonna use my auxiliaries to catch it.
Two across. You think so? Yeah, cross. Yeah, that way both ends, so I have both my lines. Like I said, the crossing action is just to create a little bit more surface area. I need my second, second angle iron. I have some smaller pieces. I have bigger pieces up there, but I'm gonna use these smaller ones. Sí, está bien. Aquí tenemos todo el pinche Ricardo, culero. ¿Por qué? Yeah, I did. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no yelling. Vamos a quitar esta. No. Esta no la vamos a usar. ¿Ande? La otra no. No, esta sí, va a la otra. Sí, está bien de larga. Está mejor para acá entonces. Déjame pasarle a este. Quítalo. Ahí está. Dale, dale. Dale. Ok. I'm still gonna catch it. I'm gonna put two. Oh, smart. Very smart. The, the, the wheels, no? Yes, yeah, to the wheels. Oh, genius, bro. That's awesome. I can't believe you're doing okay. that. That's so controlled. That's beautiful. Right? It's gonna be fine. Let me free spool. Huh? It hasn't tightened up yet? Yeah, I did. Right now, I tightened it up.
Bueno, gente, pásame pedazos de iron, de angle iron, por favor. Or no? no, we're just, we're gonna do individual ones, individual, huh? Individual. Yeah, individuals. So this one goes up there, no? Yeah. So that one goes there. Yeah. Right. Let's get this one up here. If you want to go up with this so it equalizes. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Hey, let's put that strap around the back all the way. See what I'm saying? Like that choke. Just push it further. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Let me get the other one. Yeah, once I start bringing it over, I'll separate. All right. You just gotta be picking it up so it doesn't drag on the floor and then you're gonna be letting one with one cable. Okay. So what's gonna be twisting it is me turning it. Okay. And all you're gonna do is just guide it. Lift and catch. Let me put tension on my cables first. Right? Yep, that'll be fine. Ready? You wanna do it from here? Got him on the block though. Huh? You wanna do it from here or what? Yeah, we'll do it from here. I'll be on this side. Okay? Let me know when you're ready. Huh? Be very careful. There you go, Casco, you're good. Keep it just like that. Blow out a little bit, Casco. Blow out, blow your boom, blow your boom out. Okay, that's good. You need to, you need to go up. Hold on, Castro, you look just like that. You're doing beautiful, bro. You got, you got too much tension, you gotta pivot up for you. There you go, that's better, right there. There you go, that's better. Come up, come up. Come up. Castro, go up a little bit with both tables. There, there you go, there you go, right there, that's good. Alright, Alex. I'm gonna catch it.
Juan. Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. I'm getting it away from the truck. Oh, scared me. No, no, no. I didn't say anything. I know. Fuck you, man. The music is done. The music is done. Lower it, bro. I'm at, you want me to move it away? Lower it! You were yelling at me, right? No, no, no. Yeah. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Then you return! What do you think, bro? We're good. We're good. Huh? <laughs> At least some of it came in. Yeah, it, no, that's fine. We bring it up. Now yeah. we, we get to move it. All right, cool. Okay, boys. It's Castro. Two years? You teach us something? Hell yeah. Go, 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 go,
Good job. It, it helped torquing it from back there, huh? But that's what helped me out to bring it over. Yeah, okay. So there's a chance doing this. Can, once you tear it, we're, we're done because of the load up. Well, the good thing it was tore already. No, but we don't want the floor tore up. And then we didn't have to do anything to the walls, huh? No. Yeah, I already disconnected from the bottom so we can swing over. What's up, man? How you doing? You got your drone up, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right there. Can I not hold it? You let me know how you're doing, man. Right there. You're amazing, bro. Pull it, pull it, pull it. cleanup as you can see uh, most of it came out as we expected just because it was already compromised but Caltrans gonna clean up the rest which is uh, pretty cool they have a big loader so they'll just go and take the rest of it so we'll have this thing open up in uh, no time. Yeah, the only thing the drone showed is that we brought it up. We brought up a loaded trailer. Yeah. Show the other side. I gotta do everything. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just opened the door. You're like, oh, I just opened it. Give me the salt shaker. Oh. And the Thanksgiving dinner, and I gotta do everything. Now I really gotta do everything. Shh. You're gonna be picking up these toothpicks. <laughs> this toy, what you want? Uno mas? Yeah. We might have to come back with the low one. Why? Look at that wall. Oh, that piece, huh? Let me, let me, let me uh, talk to CHP. Once he takes off that stuff, he can, yeah. uh, he can grab it and put the piece inside with the loader. Because yeah. it's flat, it's open. Why don't we move forward? Why don't we move these two forward? Okay.
I think they're just boxes, no? Let me, let me go check. They're just boxes? Yeah, I'm gonna move them right now. Are you driving this? No, I'm not. Hey! Hold up! Yeah. Forty-five twenty-seven. Forty-five thousand? No, forty-five twenty-seven. Forty thousand five hundred and twenty-seven. Not bad, huh? So you want to look up to Caltrans and tell them that we're responding. You know what? I think they want to get out. Are See, already moving? Oh, it's already moving. Hey, a, a real thing. Yeah, it's because there was a piece of. Are we fine? They're just concerned about the wall, see if it's gonna fly off or something. I'm gonna go real slow right up the freeway anyway, so. Okay. Nah, everything's secure pretty good. It's all it's all in one piece. It's just open. following Castro we're gonna to get back to our shop we're gonna split it and uh, get it inside I'm just following behind just so that way no one uh, gets behind it but as you can see the the trailer is pretty pretty much destroyed so um, it's not very salvage salvageable at all Yeah, I'll help him out. I appreciate it, man. Bye-bye.
Nothing wrong with this side. Yeah. Yeah. Eldritch tone. <laughs> <laughs>